Hello and welcome back to my shop. Today I'm going to try and build a shovel out of this leftover birch from when I covered the spoons. I'm going to start by peeling off the bark. Now I can draw up my shape with a pencil and then cut it out. So my blank has the right size, but it's too thick, so I gotta thin it down and then give it a little edge profile on the blade. I guess I guess you call it a blade, but um, yeah, I'll call it the blade so that you can uh, get into the dirt with it and really get it there. It's not time to carve the inside so it gets a little scoop. Now that I've got the head of the shovel roughed out, I'm going to do a little more fine detailing later. I'm going to now start on the handle section, of which I got this long piece of oak or hickory. I'm not entirely sure which, but it'll work for the handle. It's quite long, so I'll get to work.
I'm going to let this dry for a while, and in the meantime, I can work on a little T handle that's going to go right here. In order to make sure that this never pops off, I'm gonna put a wedge into the dowel here. You gotta make sure that when you cut the slot for the wedge, that the cut is perpendicular to the direction of the grain of the handle, because if it were parallel, when you just put the wedge in, it would split the entire handle apart. I'm not going to take it any higher than 180 just because, I mean, it is a shovel and it's going to be getting dirty and uh, it doesn't need to be really finely finished. I, I feel like it's going to break really easily. Uh, but what I really wanted to do was just get rid of the, any extra splinters on the handle so that I wouldn't get like stabbed when I'm using it. And the last step before this shovel is actually finished completely is rubbing a coat of boiled linseed oil on it, which is going to seal the wood and just protect it from moisture and any soil damage that a shovel will handle. While it may not be the prettiest shovel ever, it is still a shovel nonetheless. I haven't tested it out fully, but I may do a video on that sometime in the future of me seeing what I can do with the shovel, seeing if it is effective as a shovel. Anyways, thank you for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate you watching my videos, and uh, I'll see you next time.